there to our 104 subscribers, our future subscribers, and all the people that secretly watch us without subscribing. Um, I'm here with a new camera today, and as you guys know, whoever watches these videos, I kind of bounce back and, back and forth between different cameras and cell phones trying to find one that I like. Um, and a company asked me to do a review on one, and it's the same company that um, I got my last camera from, so of course I said I would do it. Um, so I'm going to be comparing the camera I already got from them with the one I just got, and we'll see what, what it turns out like. Um, so the old camera, I only know, I tried finding the differences between them, but it was hard finding information online that was compatible, you know, that was comparable. But the old camera was 2.7 thousand uh, megapixels, or 2.7 thousand pixels. Um, the new one is 4,000. Um, the I don't know. I don't know how these numbers work. Sorry. Um, it says 42 megapixels for the old one. And the maybe part of it's video and part's photo. I don't know. The new one, one part of the page says 36, the other one says 48. So it may be better, maybe worse. I don't know. I'm guessing it should be better because the actual pixels are higher. So um, let's see the microphone distance. The old one had a microphone, it said it was three three to five meters in distance, and it said that it picked up sound from five different directions. Um, currently I'm not using that microphone because I took it to a place that was supposed to be haunted and it blew up. So I have a replacement microphone on that one right now, so that's going to be a little bit different to test. Um, the new one says it only does zero to three meters. I don't know why the new one would be less, but it also does not say how many directions it picks up sound, so we'll see. Um, they both have a three inch display screen, and the old one was 10.6 ounces, the new one's 15.2 ounces, so it is 50% heavier. So anyway, um, the old one came with a carrying case. Um, which I'm already kind of wearing the Velcro out on it. It's coming off, but um, I do like the carrying case because it's padded. And so that's what it came with. Um, the old one did not come. I bought this <laughs> later, but the old one came with um, two batteries. And the new one's supposed to come with one, but that's fine. I recently bought three more, so I've got five batteries and charger, which is why I have this. Um, the replacement microphone that I got for the old one is actually quite a bit smaller than the original, but I do like it a little bit better. Hard to say why, but um, you do have to make sure on the replacement one I bought, though, the cord goes in the right direction because the sound only travels one direction through it. I found out the hard way. Um, so the new camera. This is what it looks like. I did open the box, but I didn't take it out. Just to, I was just letting it come up to room temperature because it is freezing outside. So let's see. The camera or the microphone that comes with this. So this is the replacement I bought. So they're actually really close in size. Like they might be almost identical. Um, it does have the cord attached so you don't have to worry about it being backwards. And the old camera did have an on off switch on the microphone, which was a bad thing because we forgot to turn it on a couple times. Uh, this one does not have the auto switch that I can see, so that's a good thing. <coughs> I should have brought my water in here. But, oh well. Um, Alright, so it looks like 
instead of a regular carrying case, this one just has like a, a velour pouch. Um, and then there's the cable that comes with it. And then the camera itself looks real similar. this little plastic thing off here. So this is the new one. This is the old one. You can see the difference there. Um, the new one apparently does not have a lens cover. And originally in the first video I said I liked the lens cover being attached. Since then I've discovered I don't like it being attached because it makes lots of noise. So I may even eventually take it off. I don't know, but anyway, that's the new camera. That's the old one. Honestly, they feel like they are identical in weight, so the description could have been wrong, maybe. The bottom of the new one, the bottom of the old one, the back of the new one, the back of the old one. Actually, the new, the old one may be slightly heavier. I don't know. All right, so let's put the batteries in them. Oh, how does this one even open? This one is different. Um, so there's the SD card and the charger. SD card and charger's in the back of the new one. Um, I'm not sure. I might have to look at the directions to find the battery. Oh wait, I think I just found it. Looks like the battery is underneath the strap. So, let's see. But I don't see a battery. Is it still in the box? It must be. Hopefully it's got a little bit of a charge so we could test it without waiting. Well, I mean, I have other batteries, so that wouldn't be an issue, but... Oh, it's a different battery. I will have to check it in a little bit and see. Yeah, I don't think it's a, the same battery at all. So I don't think my new batteries will work in it. I will let you know the difference between the batteries in just a bit. Which way did I have this on here? Um, okay, so got the battery in the new one. The old one, the battery compartment's on the bottom. There's just this little lever you pull here, or push, and it goes in there right next to the SD card. Pop that in. All right, so the old one, you open it and it comes on. And then that's what the buttons look like. The new one, it's supposed to be the same way. You open it. what the buttons look like. Um, quite a bit different. I thought they were going to be pretty much identical, but they are not, so we'll see how that works out. Um, let's see. I probably should have checked the battery difference. Let's see real quick. Well, maybe I'll, I'll do that in a little bit so that I'm not wasting time sitting here. Um, I am going to take the two cameras and film something, but I don't know what yet, so you'll find out in a moment. <laughs> it's the end of the following day, and I just had a couple of things I wanted to mention before I finish editing the video. Um, I've been working on it all day. It's been frustrating. Um, my computer could not... Um, 
properly watch the clips from the new camera. So I had to put them in an editor and export them as new videos so my computer could actually process them. Um, and after that they worked fine. The old camera is always off by 18 frames. The new one, once I re-exported them, actually is right on the dot as far as how far, you know, whether it lines up the audio and video, which um, is good except for that means I have to export it in extra time, which takes a lot of time sometimes. So that kind of sucks. But um, I did get it working. And also, I did not notice the timestamp on the new camera until I was in the middle of editing, so sorry about that. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So, as is, I've got the new camera on top, the old one on the bottom, and just looking in the screen, um, I mean, I'm really I have a hard time seeing, but it does look like the old one has actually got a clearer picture, but that could be different on the recording. So, as is, I've got the new camera on top, the old one on the bottom, and just looking in the screen, um, I mean, I'm really I have a hard time seeing, but it does look like old one has actually got a clearer picture but that could be different on the recording okay so this was kind of awkward to do um, so I'm checking them with the cameras turned backwards so I can see the difference um, and the new one I don't know if it's just zoomed in more naturally I mean these are both standard stock settings nothing's been changed on them um, I'm still pretty sure that the old one, I mean the new one is lighter, even though it claims to be 50% heavier. Um, it's kind of weird that it's zoomed and the color doesn't look as good, but we'll find out more when I edit. Okay, so this was kind of awkward to do. Um, so I'm checking them with the cameras turned backwards so I can see the difference. Um, and the new one, I don't know if it's just zoomed in more naturally. I mean, these are both standard stock settings. Nothing's been changed on them. Um, I'm still pretty sure that the old one, I mean, the new one is lighter, even though it claims to be 50% heavier. Um, it's kind of weird that it's zoomed and the color doesn't look as good, but we'll find out more when I edit. Okay, so... I'm recording the mountains with both cameras just to see how they look. Of course, they're not going to be identical as far as the location of the picture because they are being recorded side by side. But this is what they look like from the factory. Okay, so I'm recording the mountains with both cameras just to see how they look. Of course, they're not going to be identical as far as the location of the picture because they are being recorded side by side. But this is what they look like from the factory. I figured I'd do one more recording with the microphones unplugged. So it's just using this, the camera's microphone instead of the attached microphone. And so that's what that sounds like without an extra microphone. I figured I'd do one more recording with the microphones unplugged. So it's just using the, the camera's microphone instead of the attached microphone. And so that's what that sounds like without an extra microphone. Okay, so um, right now I've got a black light on. And... I'm in the closet trying to find a dark space. I was trying to figure out the ISO thing, which doesn't seem to be a thing on the new camera, except for still photos. 
So when I got it turned on on the old camera, I don't know if that's for the um, photos, video, or both. Um, let's see if this like auto adjusts if I flip the light off. I don't know. Nope. So. Okay. Okay, so um, right now I've got a black light on. And I'm in the closet trying to find a dark space. I was trying to figure out the ISO thing, which doesn't seem to be a thing on the new camera, except for still photos. So when I got it turned on on the old camera, I don't know if that's for the... Um, photos, video, or both. Um, let's see if this like auto adjusts if I flip the light off. I don't know. Nope. So. Okay. Just in the process of wrapping this video up. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And get your friends to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.